Hey guys, welcome to Dutch Academy. My name is Pramod, and guys, I'm super excited because in this video, I'm going to discuss about how I have cracked my dream company, Browser Stack. If you already know, I have been into industry for software testing for more than 10 plus years now, and so my previous company where I have basically cracked the interview as a QA lead, right? In this video, we are going to discuss about my experience with the Browser Stack interview as a QA lead. How was the experience? What were the questions that is that are mostly expected? I will discuss like how I have prepared myself. even for the ql interview which is like a most difficult one of the important difficult interview right and tips how you can basically to can crack the similar kind of interview if you have probably in the future this video is very very helpful for the person who are freshers as well as the manual testers automation tester even if you have any experience right this video trust me will have a value packed concepts as well as the important things like i'm going to discuss about my journey like how i was able to crack and what were the things that i have done i hope you are excited just type excitement in the comment if you are excited and let's get started and let's learn how i was able to do it and what was my experience all right let's jump into the mind map so first of all let me discuss about my experience i have like 19 points so i'll go through one by one so first of all how do i get the call guys this is very important for fresher as well right so generally i got a call from a consultant to be honest so i was applying randomly applying on multiple positions i have applied on adobe microsoft uh, amazon at the time right uh, i got a call also but the call that i generally that you get is consultant or direct hrs right so there are two ways either you can get a call from the browser stacks right so i was lucky enough i got a first call from a consultant i don't know how but they basically figure out my uh, profile with when i was in wingify right they figure out my profile that i will be suitable for a qa lead position at a browser stack then i got a second call from a direct hr okay so this is how and they got it from the linkedin this is true so consultant got all the information from the uh, linkedin so highly recommend you guys please make sure you watch my linkedin method techniques also reach out and add only consultants as well as you can add a consultant and direct hrs of the company in your linkedin so that you get a maximum calls okay second important thing the position position was qa lead position because i have to handle a particular team two project two three projects that i have to handle right interview process it was very similar to the normal as they generally automation test that you have they first of all they asked me the manual testing question also so yes even it the role was fully automation really automation qa lead but still they have asked me the manual testing question so today i'm going to discuss about the type of questions all right so let's come to the second part of your like what are the different types of question that i have got okay the first one was uh, basically if you see i had a coding round initially and after that uh, coding round was in the hacker rank so i think the question that they uh, they have already shared right i was uh, lucky enough that i already have done similar kind of a question right so yeah that with that you can do that uh, second one so now what happens is if if you clear the first coding round they will call you to the bombay office so browser check has a amazing 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 uh, office there where they will book your flights they have booked my flights as well as they will give you a one day accommodation i think accommodation that you have to manage by your own so i have managed uh, i took like a uh, one one day hotel nearby the office and after that you have a series of round and after that in the end they will just send you back to the same location right so i went to bombay at the time the first one was the automation round where i have to do a drag and drop problem it was a very simple problem but any language you can choose any framework you can you create so at that time i was more comfortable in protector javascript so i have basically uploaded couple of files so you have a couple of couple of files in your local file system that you have to upload by using some mechanism by using selenium right that we have done it and it was worked again right second one was again an automation round where you have to pre create a proper automation framework from scratch so they will notice like what kind of utility you have used how you have basically entered your uh, reporting mechanism how you have basically added page object models right all the things they have basically asked in that round right the third one was related to threading so now after i was finished with this i was pretty much comfortable because in my last three companies like wingify and previously creo right where i have created the framework from scratch so i had a pretty much good experience and i was uh, able to do it easily so two rounds i was confident that i will go to the third round third round was very tricky where i had a very interesting question where they will basically give you like okay 10000 text files are there you have to basically use threading to read the three files and calculate the sum i think this kind of a question you will find on the educative platform also i have seen the similar kind of example on educative.io where they have it or geeks for geeks also you will find these kind of questions where you have to apply the threading mechanism again i was able to completely do that but that was not a proper solution so 
to be honest they they are not looking for a proper answer they are looking that okay you are able to complete a problem or not so i was not able to properly manage or uh, make it thread safe or something like this but i was able to do it reading the file uh, doing the sum and doing that right i will post the links also of the geeks for geeks if i am able to find this i'll discuss about it okay so that was it in the managerial round right now comes the managerial round it was very difficult round we have manager will ask you very very important things related to qa lead and first of all he has started with the manual testing from the starting of a login page till the requirement how you create your rtm rcas and all everything he has asked he has asked about static testing dynamic testing what you have to enter in the test plan what what are the fields in a test plan what is exit criteria and three criteria accessibility testing i mean he has asked a lot of question and that was an intense managerial round for one and a half hour and he was basically judging me on all the aspects like how much manual testing i should know because i am going to handle a particular team where i should know about the manual testing concepts also right so after that he asked me manager related question like what happens if someone has a uh, problem in the uh, performance right those things so that that was done that was easy one i think if you give a fine answers you will go through it then you have a, a discussion with the director so directly i had a discussion with the nakul we were uh, who's the ceo of a browser tech then we had a very good conversation and the ceo round i think with the director director was someone as i don't i don't remember the director name but ceo round and that was it so they don't told me about the results next day they will tell you about it so right uh, what i like really like about the browser tech was let me tell you which was uh, people people and the office was amazing meeting the ceo they will allow you to have a meeting with ceo guys it was pleasure to meet nakul who is very visionary and a qa related company right it was a dream from to uh, meeting the team uh, they will allow you to have a meeting also so i was able to see the team before even i had a right right now i'm going through the interview i can see the team how they are working what kind of project that they are doing and it was amazing experience at the time right i highly recommend that so let's stop this video right now and let's come back into the